Oh, hi everyone. Uh, can you just give me a sec? I, I just have to figure something out. Actually, can you help me? I just won some money and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. Okay, here are my options. One, I could buy a new car. Two, I could go to Disneyland. Or three, I could buy 10 lightsabers. So, as you can see, I have a lot of options to weigh. But while I think over my options, why don't I tell you how I won this money? So, my brother, Alistair, he just rolled a seven. And that landed him right on top of Boardwalk. And I had just built a hotel there. So, I got all of his money. And now I don't know what to do with it. What? 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 Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So, this... This isn't real money. That's a bummer. <sighs> it's... It's for the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's for the best. I don't know where I would have kept those 10 lightsabers anyway. It does give me an idea for an object lesson. This is five bucks. A real five dollar bill. I checked it. If I had enough of these, I would be able to buy that car. I would be able to go to Disneyland. I would be able to buy those 10 lightsabers. I can do those things because this is real money. Real money has importance. It has value. Monopoly money is just colorful pieces of paper with numbers on it. It has no value. This is similar to our hearts. Actually, did you know that God looks into your heart? See, you could go to church, you could sing all the songs, you could hear all the words, you could give all the money. But God, he doesn't pay attention to those things on the outside. No, you see, God looks inside to your heart. That's where he finds the value. If you do something without love, without your heart, it means less. It's like this Monopoly money, without value. But when you use your heart, when you give your heart in all the things that you do, it's like this five bucks. It has value. Samuel says that God doesn't look at what people look at. People look at outward appearance, where God he looks at your heart. God, well, he wants your heart. And he wants your heart to be in the things that you do.